Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Katia? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Great. How was your day? It was great. All right, that's nice. What did you do today? I went to the Ministry of Education. <laughs> to the education minister. Uh, education minister. All right. Um, that's all. Okay. Good. So you're what a teacher you too, Katy. Yes. Are you a teacher. Oh, nice. What do you teach? Um, I am a special education teacher. Oh, interesting. That's very nice. Children with disabilities. Disabilities, yep. All right, that's interesting. And how about the platform? Um, how are you doing with that? Um, almost finished the section three. Yeah, okay. And the ex last exam. All right, mm -hmm. nice, nice. You're doing pretty well. Thank you. See Oscar Antonio, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, and you? Great, I'm good, thank you. How about your day, how was it? Oh, uh, I don't understand. Oh, how was your day, que tal su día? Ah, uh, my day is great. All right, nice. And the platform, Oscar, how are you doing? What section are you in? Uh, I am uh, I am in the section one. You are in section one still, okay? Yes. All right, just remember to keep working. This week we have to complete until section three at least, please. Keep on okay. working. Okay, okay. Marco Antonio. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? It's okay. All Anything? right. <laughs> nice. And how about your day? How was it? It was great. Like I finished my my work and I come back to my home. So I think it was good. All right. It sounds nice. And the platform, Marco, what section are you in? I'm start the section three, but I couldn't uh, advance today. Okay, all right, but you're doing well. You're in section three already. That's yes. great. Evis Mendez, good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Evis? Um, it's it's fine it's a little busy you had a busy day what do you do yes. Iris? uh in the morning i run and um, in the afternoon i work okay what do you do for a living a que se dedica? i work in a call center Oh, you work in a call center. Oh, I think you told me yesterday, right? Yes. Yes, you did. Okay, nice. And how about the platform? Ives, what section are you in? I work in a uh, section three. Okay, All right, sounds nice. Keep, wor keep working. Okay. Let's see, Rene Cantaderio. Good evening. You take your microphone, please, mister. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Very busy. Oh, you had a busy day? All yes. right. Okay, and how about the platform, Rene? How are you doing with that? Uh, I finished. Uh... 
Do you finished everything? Sí, everything. Oh, only, nice. only, only, solo me falta el, the midterm. You're missing the midterm. Okay. No missing the... Okay. All right, sounds nice. Very well. Thank Let you. me see, Madeline, Melissa, good evening. Good evening, Madeline. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Um, fine. I'm fine. Okay, nice. And how about your day? How was it? Um, was a busy day. You had a busy one. Okay, was it all right? Oh, sorry? Was it all right? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, nice. And the platform editing, what a section are you in? I work in section three. You're in section three already, okay, great. Let me see, Roxana Amaya, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, man. Okay, sounds nice. And how was your day? Yes. It was a good day. Great. And the platform, Roxana, what section are you in? Um, I finished section two. You're and done with section two. Working. Yes, and I started working in section two. Okay, sounds nice. Keep going. Let's see, Marta Menjivar. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Marta? I'm fine, thanks. Great. How was your day? It was busy. You had a busy one? Okay. And how about the platform? What section are you in? I'm working in the section three. You're in section three. Okay, fine. Let's see, Manuel Alejandro. Good evening. Hello, Manuel. Hello, can you hear me? Mm, yes, but um, it's very low. Uh, how are you? Fine, you? Mm, great, I'm doing good, thanks. And how about your day, how was it? Uh, well, it's a good day. You had a good one, I'm glad to hear that. And the platform, Manuel? What section are you in? Uh, I am the midterm. You are in the midterm. Yes, midterm. Okay. All right. It sounds good. Let's see, Reina Costa. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Reina? I am fine. Okay, nice. And how about the platform? What section are you in? Section three. You're in section three. Okay, fine. You're doing great. And Santa Jasmine, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Sandra? I'm fine. I'm very well. Uh, All right. I have listened to music um, before to the, the class. Before the class, all right, nice. Yes. So you must be relaxed. Yes. <laughs> okay, sounds good. And how about the platform, Sandra? What section are you in? I'm in the section two. You're I have to work two. in the section three this week. Okay, all right, fine. Just remember that um, we have to complete the section three and the midterm test by this week. So we got yes, until yes. the weekend, right? Okay, I good. have to put it on in this. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Thank you. 
Right, let's see, Roberto Carlos, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, sounds nice. How was your day? Um, uh, today, um, I have working on the platform. Oh, you have been working on the platform? What section are you in? Um, I finished uh, section two. Okay. All right, nice. You get into section three. Just remember to complete it this weekend, okay? Okay. All right, nice. Now let's start with our class and um, let me see. Okay, welcome everybody to our third class of the week. Um, we are going to start with some speaking today. So we're going to share a little bit about our free time activities. And for example, uh, what we do on our free time. So the question is, what do you do in your free time? And remember that we express the, the free time activities using the simple present. So we say, for example, I go to the park, I take a walk, I visit my family, I hang out with friends, I go out with my husband or my kids, I watch TV and so on, right? Or if you're using like, if that is an, another option, you say I like to watch TV or I like uh, to go swimming and different activities you like to do. So let me ask Rene Cantaderio, what do you do in your free time? Excuse me, teacher. What do you do in your free time, Rene? <sighs> I, 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 watch it. I watch TV and I like a, a, I like a, watch a, Football soccer. Okay, nice. Rene, can you ask the same question to Reina Acosta, please? Reina Acosta. Reina Acosta. What do you do in your free time, Reina? <laughs> I like watch TV movies. I run in the park and I sleep um, mush. Okay, great. Reina, you ask Martha. Okay. What do you do in your free time, Martha? Okay, I, I like to play basketball. I like swimming. I like to play chess dress. Read. Okay. Mm, that's it. Okay, Marta, ask Roberto Carlos. Okay, what do you do in your free time, Roberto Carlos? I, I do um, I I like to run in I like to run and I like um, cook. And I like to read. Okay, sounds nice. Roberto, now you ask Sandra. Um, Sandra, um, what do you do in free time? I like to watch movies. I like to go to the park. I like to listen to music. I like to watch videos in YouTube. And that's, it's enough, I think. All right. Uh, Sandra, now ask Katia. Okay, Katia, what do you do in your free time, Katia? 
I sleep and what? I go out with friends. I read books or listen audio That's all. Okay, really interesting. Now, Katia, you ask Maritza Padilla. Okay, Maritza Padilla, what do you do in your free time? I like um, basketball and movies. Okay, Maritza ask Melvin. What do you in your free time, Melvin? In my free time, uh, I like to listen to music and I visit different places with my friends and I visit, for example, different places, for example, Parque Boquerón and I watch uh, motivational videos uh, about the leader leadership. That's it. Okay, interesting, Melvin. Now ask Oscar Antonio. Oscar Antonio, uh, what do you do in your free time? Uh, in my free time, I like to play soccer. I like to read articles on industrial engineering topics. I like going to the beach. Great. Ask Marco Antonio, please. Uh, Marco Antonio, what do you do in your free time? Well, in my free time, I like to read a lot of books and manga, watch and TV series, anime and all that. And I would like to go out and walk with my dogs. Okay, great. Ask Ibis, Marco. Ibis, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I like to listen to music and I like run in the morning and go out with my friends. And also I like practice rugby. Great. Okay, Evis ask Madeline. Madeline, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I watch movies, I listen music, and I try to make exercise because I want to have a um, healthy lifetime. So I start with that. Oh, nice. You're doing exercise. Great. Now, let's see. Can you ask Roxana? Madeline, can you ask Roxana, please? Okay, Roxana, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I like I like to sleep, uh, but uh, I like uh, to run in the cyclone on the Instagram. Um, I like to um, see the uh, station. Okay. Um, I like I I love I like. Uh, Listen music. Uh, I love uh, Paula Duran in Rio Roma. Mm -hmm, nice. Uh, I like I like a uh, read book. Um, right now I reading a book. No, no, I can't say it. What is it? In English, I don't know. Uh, okay. Fine. All right, that's fine. Thanks for sharing. I think everybody has participated, right? And is, it, is there anybody who's missing? I don't think so, okay. So let's continue by watching a video of a conversation in the platform, and then we are going to practice it. So it's this one. Let's watch it, let's listen to the conversation, and then we are practicing it in pairs.
In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Wow. Okay, that is the conversation. Take a look at it and tell me if you have questions about the vocabulary, please. No questions. Okay. Uh, this one, TV announcer, that will be like a TV reporter. Como reportero. Any other questions? Teacher, what does it mean by the way? By the way is an expression that we use to um to change like the topic or to introduce a new a new topic, like to twist the conversation to another way. Like um in here, he's using it like, oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show, by the way. And then he introduces himself. So uh, you can use it in order to, to mention something uh, that is related to, to what you are telling that person at that time. But um, yeah, just to introduce something else to the conversation, like uh, I'm telling you about this and then I go like, by the way, I have your, I have your exams, for instance. Or you can say, by the way, um, let me explain about the use of the prepositions. I mean, it's just to introduce like a new topic to the conversation. I don't know if no. I explained well. Okay, Thank perfect. You. No problem. All right, so let's uh, practice the conversation. Do I have any volunteers to read it? Katya? And Roxana. Good. Katia, you start. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at time. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? Um, I usually get home at midnight. Nina, that is late. What do you do exactly? Um, I'm a TV announcer. I do the, I do the water for on TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, very well. Thanks for reading. And everybody repeat, midnight. Midnight. TV announcer. TV announcer. Weather. Weather. Recognize me. Recognize me. Okay, let me have another pair to read the conversation. Any volunteer? Rene? Me, teacher. And Reina, okay? Good. Rene, you start. Okay. So, do, do you usually come to, gym, come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? 
I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the water report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you, you are Helen Black. I love your talk. By the way, I am Daniel. All right, perfect. Now, let me have a third part to read, please. Me, teacher. Marco. Me, teacher, Maritza. And Maritza, okay, go ahead, Marco. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I don't. Really? What time do you go to the work? To work, I'm sorry. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually have home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the water report on QMTV. Do not you recognize me? Recognize me. Recognize me. Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Perfect. Very well. And now everybody repeat. Jim. 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 Midnight. 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 TV announcer. TV, TV announcer. announcer. Weather. Weather. Weather, Weather report. KNTV. KNTV. Recognize me. Recognize me. Okay, and let me have another quick read. Who's going to read? Me, teacher. Martha. Me. And Evis. Okay, go ahead, Martha. Martha, you can start. Yes, now we can hear you. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time did you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When did you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? Sorry, Evis, I think I turned off your microphones by accident. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I am TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? I love you, bro. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, very good. Thanks for reading, Evis and Martha. Now, everybody repeat. Usually. 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 Gym. Gym. Morning. 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 Afternoon. Afternoon. 
That's late. Night. 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 Midnight. Midnight. Announcer. Announcer. Weather. Weather. Report. Report. KNTV. KNTV. Recognize. 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 And also say your. You. I'm. 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 That's. That. Okay, let me play the conversation one more time. I need you to pay attention to the pronunciation of the underlined words. Pay attention. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, let's continue by talking about some time expressions. So today's lesson objective is by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions of time and adverbs of time. Let's watch this video and hear the explanation. Then we are going to, to clarify some information and we are practicing. Except night, months, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. 7 a.m. equals 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss an, a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples. We have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, specific dates. 
Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. 7 p.m. equals... Okay, so as you see, we have different time expressions that we may use with the simple present. We have at, which is for introducing a specific time. For example, when we say at seven, and then we have some different ways to express clock time. We say, for example, seven in both of those ways. And then we have seven o'clock, that expression o'clock in punto. Then we have expressions such as a.m. or p.m., 7 a.m., 7 p.m., 7 in the morning or 7 in the evening. So that is for using at. At goes with a specific clock time. Then if you're talking about time, but it is not really specific or precise, we use around. I go to bed around 10, around 10, como a las 10, right? Around. And then we have early, which means temprano, late, tarde. And we also have until, like until midnight, hasta, hasta la medianoche. And we get expressions like before and after, before noon, antes del mediodía, afternoon, después del mediodía. And we also have in for different parts of the day, like when we say in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, and for night, we use at, at night. Then for talking about specific days of the week, we use on, on Saturdays, on Sundays, on weekdays. Those are some other expressions we can use. On weekdays, on weeknights, on weekends, and on Fridays. So that is what we have for the time expressions. Now let's talk about the prepositions, like, let's uh, talk a little more about the prepositions. Here I have some examples on how to use the different prepositions in sentences. We got, I have a meeting at 9 a.m. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. Next example says, the shop closes at midnight. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? Do you work on Mondays? Her birthday is on 20th November. Where will you be on New Year's Day? I was born in April. April. He goes to the park on Saturdays. She wakes up at 7. So you see how we use the different ones at, at 9 a.m., at midnight, in the future, on Mondays, on 20th November, on New Year's Day, in April, on Saturdays, and at 7. So how do I use each of the propositions? Well, we have in, which is used for introducing months as when we say in May, in March, in April. We also have in for talking about years, in 2019, in 1995, in 1845, And another use for in is the parts of the day. We use it in expressions such as in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. And we also use in for talking about centuries or long periods of time. Do you understand the meaning of this word century? Century means siglo. Siglo. Siglos. 
And we say, for example, in the past century, in the past century, in el siglo pasado, in the winter, that is a long period of time, a season, in the past. Now let's practice them. Repeat, please. In May. In May. May. In March. In March. In March. In April. In April. In 2019. In 2019. In 1995. In 1995. In 1845. In the morning. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the evening. In the evening. In the, in the, in the past century. In the past, past century. 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 In the winter. In the winter. In the past. Okay, some examples on how to use the expressions in sentences. We got, my birthday is in April. Can you read the next one, please? There was, there was a war in 1997. 1997. Next. In the past, mm -hmm. there was technology. There was technology. Next. I travel two minutes from summer. Okay. Your song starts school in August. In August. Next one. We are on vacation yeah. in July. 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 The Titanic sang. The Titanic sang. The Titanic Next. Life. Life. Life was difficult in the 1940s. There we have another one. We are, we are in the 21st century. 21st, 21st century. 21st, 21st century. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. It rains in winter. Okay, so you see how we use in in the different expressions. We have, for example, in April, in 1997, in the past century, in summer, in August, in July, in 1912, in the 1940s, in the 21st century, and in winter. Now let's continue by talking about the preposition on. When do I use on? I use on when I'm introducing days of the week. For example, when I say on Sunday, on Monday, on Thursday. And I also use on for dates. As when I say on December 27th, on February 19th, on November 13th. Repeat, please. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Monday. On Monday. On Thursday. On Thursday. On December 27th. On December 27th. On February 19th. On February 19th. On November 13th. On November 13th. 
Okay, some examples. I work on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Help me to read the next one. I work on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Next. Many shops don't open on Sunday. Okay. What, what did you do, you do on the weekend? weekend? Next one. My birthday, my birthday is on August 23rd. I was, I was born on June 1st. June 1st. First. My vacation is on Monday. 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 Next. We are going to holy on Friday night. My brother, my brother John, John was born, was born on, on September 5th. Third. We always have a huge celebration on New Year's Eve. 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 On New Year's Eve. Okay, Eve. so you see how we use on as in on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday? On Sundays, Sunday. on the weekend, on August 23rd, on June 1st, on Monday, on Friday night, on September 3rd, on New Year's Eve. And it is also important to notice and remember that we have a a different way to mention only the month, right? We use in for mentioning only the month. For example, here we say, my birthday is on August 23rd. But I can also express it this way. My birthday is in August. If I decide to only mention the month, I use in. If I mention the full date, then I use on. You see, on August 23rd, in August. The same happens here. I was born on June 1st. Then I change it to I was born in June. In June. And this one, uh, my brother John was born on September 3rd. My brother John was born in September. So remember that we use on for the date, the complete date or the full date. And we use in for only mentioning the month. Okay. And now let's talk about the last preposition, which is at. And we use at for talking about precise time, precise time as when we say at 4.45 a.m., at three o'clock, at 2.25 in the afternoon. Now repeat, please, at 4.45 a.m. At 4.45 a.m. At three o'clock. At three o'clock. At 2.25 in the afternoon. At 2.25 in the afternoon. Okay, in the same way I mentioned the different times of the day, of the day, right? The different clock times. At 2 o'clock, at 5 p.m., at 3 a.m., and so on. Some examples. It gets cold at night. Read this one, please. It gets cold at night. Next, there is a meet uh, to for this afternoon. Okay, the next one. They went uh, on a commercial time. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. The stars shine at night. night. My, my, my grandfather, 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 
I go, I to, go to bed at midnight. I see you at 7.30. Job close at midnight. Okay, so there we have some different examples using the preposition at. We use it for some specific times of the day, such as at night, at midnight, at lunchtime. And here we keep on repeating at night, at night, and then we have another at midnight. Then we also use it for the weekend, at the weekend. And notice that with weekend, we can use both on and at. So we can say on the weekend and at the weekend. Both of them are possible. On the weekend would be the preferred form for the American English. And at the weekend is the preferred form for the British English. But both of them are correct. Both of them can be used. Then we also use at for a specific time, such as at 2.30, at 9 a.m., at 7.30. Okay, now that we have studied the use of in, on, and at, and let's solve an exercise so we practice. We have this exercise where we have to circle the correct phrase. So we got three different options in each of the of, in each of them, and we have to circle the correct one. For example, number one, do we say in Sunday, on Sunday, or at Sunday? On Sunday. On Sunday. Yes, Sunday. we say on Sunday. Number two, on the evening, in the evening, or at the evening? In the evening. Yes, we say in the evening. Next one, on night, in night, or at night? At, at night. night. Yes, we use at for night, at night. Number four, on the weekend, in the weekend, or at the weekend? At the weekend. Okay, so here we have two possible answers. It could be at the weekend, or we can also say on the weekend. Both of them are correct. Number five, on the afternoon, in the afternoon, or at the afternoon? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In, in the afternoon. Number six, on Monday morning, in Monday morning, or at Monday morning? In Monday morning. We say uh, in, um, on, or at. We uh, use in, on, in, on, in, on, on Monday morning. Number seven, on 5 to 12, in 5 to 12, or at 5 to 12? At at yes, yeah. of course, we say at because we're talking about time. Number eight, on February, in February, at February. Oh, Which one is February. correct? February. In February. In, we use in, in, in February. February. Next one, on, 12, on 2018, in 2018 or at 2018. In in yes, we say in, in 2018. Number 10, on 8th March, in 8th March or at 8th March? On 8th March. On, uh, yes, we say on 8th March. Number 11, on Christmas Day, in Christmas Day or at Christmas Day? In in With this one, we use on. We say on Christmas Day. And the last one, on winter, in winter, or at winter? In winter. Mm -hmm. yes. At winter. We say in, in winter. Okay, now it's time to repeat. On Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. In the evening. In the at night. At, at night. night. At night. On the weekend. On the weekend. At the weekend. 
at the, at weekend. the weekend. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. afternoon. On Monday morning. On Monday morning. morning. At 5 to 12. At 5 to 12. In February. In February. In 2018. In 2018. On 8th March. On 8th March. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. In winter. In winter. All right. Do we have any questions about this? I don't have questions. No questions. All right, fine. So that will be all for today's class. Thanks everybody for participating. Take care and have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Take care. Bye. Thank you.